All right, kids. It's another time for another PSA. <laughs> if you're at home and you're watching 8-Bit Bromance and you're thinking, Mike and Mike are the coolest guys I've ever seen. I don't know why they don't wear capes already. I'm going to go out and throw crucifixes at owls. I'm going to get my tunic on. <laughs> oh, these guys Don't again. do it. was filmed before a live studio audience. Hello, Bitheads, and welcome to another spooky, scary episode of 8-Bit Boomers. That was a really surprisingly good Dracula <laughs> that you just did. Well, like, that blew me away. I've been, I've been touched. I've been touched by the curse. Of Dracula. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Irish curse. Because today, for this continuation of the Bittober Spooktacular, Spooktacular we are playing Castlevania 3. Oh, a classic. Dracula's Curse. Look at this old timey film. Old timey film reel, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I just came became the guy from Police Academy for a second <laughs> with the old timey film. Do we want to read them? During the 15th century, bad things happened. The world was filled with evil. There lived a person named Dracula. He began taking over the continent of Europe, changing countries from good to bad. <laughs> <laughs> the good people of Europe tried to fight off Dracula. But no one was able to survive. Finally, the Belmont family was summoned to battle Dracula's oh vile forces. I thought that was I thought that said oily forces. <laughs> you know how oily Dracula can get. <laughs> oh, the townspeople became afraid. Of course, Belmont's superhuman power. Oh, oh, they asked him to leave. Bad move. No, you need you need, you need Trevor this on guy. your side. Yeah, he has a cape. First sign that you need him. He's got a cape. He's got a cape. That's like the number one. Like, okay, this we're in good hands now. You know. What is going on at the top of the screen there? You see that? That was weird. Because it takes a right. lot of confidence. I think that's it to wear a cape. So if you're wearing a cape, you've got shit figured out. You can play the game. I, yeah, I don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was thinking about whether or not I should get a cape. <laughs> oh, enter your name. The answer is yes. Fanny boy. Farts. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Bitheads, how many of us have named ourselves farts in video games over the years? Ooh, Jabba Jingo! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I scared right. myself, folks. Here we go. Castlevania, the way it was meant to be played. <laughs> two old guys in a basement. <laughs> <laughs> but there are two different kinds of Castlevania games. And as far as like the ones with levels go, people like this yeah. a lot. This game is more just like tripping and whipping. Yeah. You know, you don't have to figure anything out. <laughs> That's exactly what I was <laughs> going to say. <laughs> tripping and whipping. <laughs> What's you know, you see a lot in a lot of these old movies like, you know, in, you know, old video games too where where the skeleton is like the minion of of the 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 head honcho evil guy. And I think that's the least scary opponent, like the least scary foe ever. A skeleton? It's literally 
like everything that you would be afraid of in another human being is gone. Like all the muscle mass, <laughs> it's, its brains, it's, its senses. It's, like, it's actually less than you. <laughs> right. Like, it, like it's just like, yeah, I got a skeleton too. Like I'm a skeleton a plus. plus. <laughs> yeah. Like why would I be intimidated by you at all? Dude, I, you don't even have a pancreas. <laughs> What about this guy? These zombies. Oh, yeah. These, like, purple purple mud men. They look like the uh, Toxic Avenger, kind of. Ooh, Toxie. <laughs> <laughs> Whipping and tripping, baby. Whipping and tripping. Axing and waxing. <laughs> Axing and waxing. Whipping and tripping. Axing and waxing. Get that candle money. Vax, wax, and ready to throw some axe. <laughs> this little gargoyle guy now, he would scare the crap out of oh, me. Oh, dude, those things are... Uh, That's like the, what people describe when they have sleep paralysis and they wake up and there's like a little demon on their chest. Yeah, those things are in every Castlevania game and they're always trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you want to stay away from them. No, nope, we're in the cemetery. It's been a running theme with Bit Bittober Spookfest. Yeah. Spooktacular Halloween Fest, whatever the fuck they're calling it. Well, we'll be respectful. Let's pay our respects to whatever bits are buried there. You're right. You know? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now whip and trip, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I like I like in fantasy stuff where it takes place like in uh, either ancient or medieval times, but like the buildings are already ruined, and it's like, wouldn't these buildings be like spectacular at this point in oh history? Boy. Oh, so see, he's a skeleton that I could get afraid of. I'm afraid of him right now. You know, a little bit taller, a little bulky. He's got a Wish bull, I was a, a bull, little bit taller. bull skull. Wish oh. he was taller. I almost had him. It's all right. You got this. We'll you can him. do it. I'll get him. Couldn't find a uh, wall, a wall chicken or anything in this one. A wall chicken? Yeah. That's Haven't you played video games before? It's always chickens in the walls. <laughs> Is that a thing? Is that a real thing yeah. that I don't know about? Yeah, we'll find one in the next level if we make it that All right. far. Cool. I'm looking forward to it. Wall chicken and dickin. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Oh yeah, he. When you have the high ground, he can't. It's like a real. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't try it, skeleton. <laughs> I have the high ground. <laughs> yeah, burn, burn, baby. Gonna make some bone marrow stew. Wait, we gotta get the good. Ready? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see what you're up to. Nice, dude. I wish tunics would come back. Like Maybe. just like a, a like a long piece of fabric with a leather belt across the the the, the middle section and a cape. Should oh, I go capes. up or down? We got a choice here. I think you know. I don't. Oh, down. Okay. Yeah. I'm hoping for a sewer level. Wouldn't it be a Nintendo game without a sewer <laughs> level with some rats and bats and Looks spiders? Like Rocking into a forest. Ah, bummer. Maybe it'll have some wall chickens. Uh, I already hate it. Look at those spikes. Who builds this stuff? <laughs> you know? Like, who's... Oh, it killed me instantly. <laughs> hey, so, uh... I got this, uh... I got this guy, Dracula, here. <laughs> he wants those, uh... Those spike chains. Do we have any of those in stock? Do I need to call my, uh, supplier? Oh, God. Let me guess. He's evil, huh? He's evil? Does he know that it, just a single guy with good timing can walk right through the spike chains? I mean, I'll put him in if he wants, but it's quite an inefficient way uh, security <laughs> system. I can hook you up with my guy with ADT, <laughs> and uh, then, you know, then you'll see the guy coming. And uh, dude, it's cheaper to just get a ring. Just put a couple cameras up, get a ring. Yeah, you could just get a ring and then like a you know like a gun. <laughs> But if he wants the spike, the spike trap, I mean, we can do that. It's just going to cost you because yeah, I think they're back ordered out of Taiwan. Yeah. 
Spike traps are a bread and butter, though, so don't push him away from it. Don't sell him out of it. Make yeah, sure he gets the spike I trap. Mean, yeah, I get it. I get it. It's a big, good payday, but it's a lot of man hours. I don't know if we can spare it right now. Hey, we're not called spike trapping sons for no reason. <laughs> Uh-oh, Harry Potter's it's getting some messages. Spike Trap and Sons, because the guy's <laughs> name is Spike Trap. <laughs> what? These fucking owls are murdering yeah, me. It's owls. It's a murder of owls. Oh, I thought that was ravens that had a murder. It's crows, but maybe it sounds right if it's owls. What is owls? Is crows and ravens, is that just semantics? Are you pulling semantics on me? I think they're two different things. Yeah. I lost. I'm back. That was only 12 minutes. We have to keep going. <laughs> Get through the spike traps. Hey, well. Here at Spike Traps and Sons, <laughs> we, we guaranteed a randomly timed spike trap. Whether you want spike traps out in your courtyard or in your long, never-ending hallways, Spike Traps and Sons guarantees a bloodied enemy in a protected home. I feel like when we had the choice, we should have went the other way. I don't like this level. No, I don't live with regrets. I'm not thinking like that. I don't. I would. I wouldn't dare think like you. Or else I'd lay in bed all night and be like, "Oh, we should have went the other way." You know? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do tonight. <laughs> These owls are awful. Ooh, you, you mother trucker. You. Oh, here we go. Woohoo! My holy boomerang. Yeah. Just throwing crucifixes at owls. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, kids. It's another time for another PSA. <laughs> if you're at home and you're watching 8 Bit Bromance and you're thinking, Mike and Mike are the coolest guys I've ever seen, I don't know why they don't wear capes already. I'm going to go out and throw crucifixes at owls. I'm going to get my tunic on. <laughs> oh, these guys Don't again. do it. Most owls are endangered. This guy and is a skeleton, demonic. but like, he still has like some like muscle oh, clinging he's back. to his. That's yeah. why he can come back. Oh, what's going on here? Ooh. A little foggy outside. A little foggy... Snake statue. Let's go, look at that guy. Ugh, I he hate creeps him. me out. Ooh, a little oh, lightning. Oh boy. Get get into some cover here. <laughs> Hello, Belmont. <laughs> just 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 uh just me. Just the old Trevster. <laughs> Anybody home? No boss? No boss on that level? Alright. Up or down? Well, we went down last time, so let's so stay up, right? We should go down oh, again. Oh, we're going down again? Okay. <laughs> this looks like you're going into the swamp. Into like the, the muck. The muck and the mire. Oh, yeah. We're going to see some... Uh, oh! <laughs> I saw a dead frog on a bench today. Oh, yeah? At work. Maybe was he? Sad. Do you think he was placed on the bench, or do you think he I was don't like? Know. Oh, oh, it's quick stand. <laughs> you think that frog like chose the bench as a place to pass away? Uh, like he was sitting there watching the sunset, like with his wife. It was his last <laughs> dying breath. He said, "I love this bench." <laughs> Ribbit. Ribbit. Go on, get. I'm just gonna book it here. Yeah, get it. These amphibious. Demo, de demo frogs, Franken frogs. Yeah, got a knife. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, get past these frogs, man. Ooh, wow, that was sick. Yeah, now we're, now we're uh -oh. cooking. No, nope. don't get. No, nope. fell into the classic mic trap of getting cocky. <laughs> Ooh. All right, don't fall down the stairs. Dude, I like tunics so much. I'm thinking about being 
this guy. Was it? Would you say his name Trevor Belmont? Right? Yeah. Look at that mudman down there. You see that? Is it mudman? It was a mudman. Or was he a man mud? <laughs> it might have been a man mud. <laughs> was he more mud than man? He was more definitely more mud than man. <laughs> Again, another foe I would not be afraid of. You know. I don't know. You didn't see it. I was kind of afraid of it. Look at him. Yeah, but he's mud. You know? You could just hose him away. <laughs> he looks like the, the guy who lives in the fudgical forest in Candyland. <laughs> <laughs> what was the guy? Gunga Ding. <laughs> Uh, Gunga Ding. That, that was a superhero that I created in the 8th grade. For those of you watching, they might care. Oh yeah. Always hearts and candles. I need something or I'm gonna die. You uh, just got move. two hearts. Why? Oh man. Because hearts aren't hearts. Hearts are money. This game's dumb. <sighs> Alright. Well, I was sufficiently creeped out during that adventure. I wish we had seen Dracula, but that was that was never going to happen. Uh, he's the last boss. Well, Bitheads, watch us for the next year. Next Bittober, we'll I'll continue Castlevania. I will practice my Vania. <laughs> Van Vania Mania. That's what we'll call it next. Next October, we'll just play all Castlevania games and call it Vania Mania. Yes, I'm in, and I love it. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> Your eyes and ears just got rocked by the... Watch another episode of Eight Bit for Wins <laughs> with Mike. <laughs> hey, Mike. Like, hey, Mike. comment, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. We love you. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram at Eight Bit for Wins. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>